Hi everyone, this is Dr. Chandrakanta. Welcome back to my commerce class. Today we are going to understand the very important topic that is accounting rules. The golden rules for debit and credit. See students, this is very important topic. Don't miss the uh, uh, explanation. Listen carefully because this is the uh, accounting rules which is the foundation for all levels of accounting so you may you are maybe studying for puc maybe studying for ug pg ca or you may be working as an accountant but one should understand the accounting rules because that helps to classify the transactions and also helps to make adjustments wherever required based on debit and credit policy okay so the uh, we have two approaches actually uh, the one is uh, traditional method of uh, uh, making accounting rules and another one is modern method of uh, accounting rules but most of the times we follow traditional method that is which is called a british approach and the another one is modern approach we call it as american approach also but later i'll take the american approach once you understand the traditional method you will be able to uh, analyze yourself what is happening what is uh, how the american approach is followed or to uh, follow the accounting rules okay later i'll take it so let us go through the traditional approach as per the traditional approach accounts are classified into three categories the one is personal account real account and nominal account so in the previous video i explained what is personal account what is real and uh, nominal account and i given some examples also for classification once you have to understand all these three kinds of accounts for that better to go through the previous video okay so what is the rule for personal account debit the receiver credit the giver for real account debit what comes in credit what goes out for nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains see personal account as i said in the previous class personal account includes uh, various institution names of the person like uh, maybe uh, the bank arvind account loan account ramesh's loan account like individuals and institutions individuals institutions organizations okay institutions organizations entities all comes under the personal account okay so that means you should understand how to classify identify the personal account better you go through the previous video so that you'll understand it for personal account what is the rule debit the receiver debit the receiver credit the giver okay for example cash received cash received from ramesh the one is cash account another one is ramesh account your ramesh account is a personal account so cash received from ramesh so we are receiving the cash who is the giver ramesh is the giver so ramesh account will be credited because credit the giver likewise for each transaction you will be able to identify two accounts and the one should be debited and there should be credited the credit is for personal account is based on this rule and the another one is a real account debit what comes in credit what goes out real account as i said in the previous class it may be tangible asset or intangible asset so real account includes all kinds of assets maybe the cash furniture land building all this comes in machinery all this comes under the 
real account okay so if we go through the previous example what is that previous example cash received from ramesh so your cash is a real account cash is a real account okay what is the rule for real account debit what comes in credit what goes out so as per the rule your cash you have received the cash from ramesh so cash is coming to the business so cash account to be debited your cash account is debited say in the previous uh, personal account de de definition what we have done so cash received from ramesh ramesh is the giver credit to giver see one is debit another one is credit like in each transaction you will be able to identify two accounts and the one should be the debit another one should be the credit so like this the last one is nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains so nominal account refers to your uh, expenses nominal account so nominal account contains various expenses maybe uh, interest interest paid commission commission paid commission paid may be commission received like interest paid interest received okay rent paid salary paid all these comes under the nominal account okay sometimes you may receive the interest also for example rent paid so rent paid means it is always in terms of cash only so rent account you are going to identify rent account this is a nominal account okay so what is the rule for rent a nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains as per that rent paid means it is an expenditure so rent account to be debited for example instead of commission paid if it is received if it is received commission received so when you receive the commission it becomes income for you so when it is an income what the rule says nominal account rule says debit all expenses credit all incomes so once the commission is income commission becomes commission account to be credited so that means if it is an expenditure if it is it is to be debited if it is an income it is to be credited so same rent okay so rent paid is an expenditure rent received is an income rent paid to be debited rent received to be credited like commission paid debit commission received credit i think uh, i hope that uh, you are clear about it so personal account debit the receiver credit the giver real account debit what comes in credit what goes out nominal account debit all expenses and losses credit all incomes and gains you have to memorize these rules forever okay let us take a few transaction to understand all these things okay i have taken some examples here purchased furniture worth rupees 50000 okay identify the two accounts here the one is furniture okay another one is cash to purchase the furniture you have to pay the cash of rupees 50000 so furniture the one is furniture okay what is the nature of this account furniture is an asset asset comes under the real account what is the rule for real account debit what comes in credit what goes out so when you purchase the furniture it is coming to your business so you have to debit the furniture so another account is your your cash right you are paying cash for this so another account is cash again cash is also real account cash is also real account because it also comes under the asset but you are paying your okay so debit what comes in credit what goes out cash is going out of your business so it is to be credited understand 
so the another example sold goods for cash sold goods for cash means you are receiving cash the one is cash so another one is goods goods is going out of your business okay we can take it as a sales or goods okay so cash cash is a real account and again sales also real account as per the real account principle rules debit what comes in credit what goes out when you make sales you are receiving cash cash to be debited so goods are going out of your business credit what goes out to be credited clear so paid salary the next is salary paid salary so paid salary means it is to be paid in terms of cash only the one is salary account the one is salary account another one is cash account we know salary is a which account nominal account and again cash is a real account what is the rule for nominal account debit all expenses and losses right you are you are paying the salary so it is to be debited because it is an expense expenses okay and uh, when you are paying cash salary cash is also going out of your business what is the rule for real account credit what goes out okay so we have to credit clear and for example Uh, you, if you take an example of any uh, uh, no, no personal account okay deposited cash to a bank okay so for example some fifty thousand so here bank account is a personal account bank account is a personal account. right and cash account is a real account so bank account is a personal account what is the rule for uh, personal account debit the receiver credit the giver so bank is receiving the cash right so bank account to be debited and the real account says credit what goes out when you pay the cash to the bank cash is going out of your business it's to be Credited. Clear. So, likewise, for each transaction, for each financial transaction of a business, we find two accounts. The one will be debited. These two accounts may be real, may be personal, may be nominal. Okay. So, it doesn't mean both should not be real and all. That is different. But you should be able to identify two accounts, and the one should be debit, another one should be credit. One should be debit, another one should be credit that is the uh, accounting equation which is going to match your assets and liabilities so we'll take few more examples in the coming video